the piece of land which is bordering uh, Route 25 about a mile and a half before the Bourne Bridge if you're heading down. Uh, the best landmark would be the, the rest area, the, the Welcome Center, just before you get to the Bourne Bridge. Uh, Plymouth, about 10 years ago, did an economic development report called the RKG study that identified this parcel of land as one of the last remaining economic development areas in the town in trying to work with the land and, and, and not fight the land but give work with what the land gives us and make sure that uh, this is something that people are going to see as, as uh, world class. The big one is the 14 sound stages. I mean, that's where uh, you would have your, your movie, your television, and, and your, your advertising production done on, on the site. This would be the first opportunity, and why we think it's so exciting is that we would actually be, it's exciting and the challenge, of course, Tammy, is that there is no infrastructure whatsoever right now on the land. Uh, you've got some ponds, you've got some cranberry box, and you've got, you know, some, uh, uh, you know, some great, uh, uh, great trees, but there's no infrastructure. So this would be the, uh, a, an opportunity to create a low impact, sustainable environment that really could be sort of best in class for the world to view. You know, so you can imagine uh, an environment that really respects the land, uh, um, is working inside the land, uh, as opposed to coming in and just bulldozing it down. It really makes sense, and we have, you know, not only been talking with the unions about actually teaching uh, the, uh, providing sort of curriculum to uh, both the college level but especially at a high school level as to what these kids need to have in terms of skill sets um, you know we, we will have a campus component to to, to the studio uh, so it really has a hands-on approach you're not just conceptually talking about a movie you'll have a hands-on experience part of this whole studio is also a training ground for young people or transitioning people who want to get involved in the arts. And so they'll be allowed then into it. They won't have to, you know, they'll be allowed into it because they're getting union jobs. To really build a workforce in Massachusetts, you really should have 10,000 IA members. Right now they're 598. So there's a tremendous opportunity, not just for this studio, but as a general rule, the industry, the notion is, is to be able to pull the work from New York into, uh, into uh, Plymouth. The studios in New York have been successful. Silver Cup is, is, is an old bakery that's been transformed into some sound, sound stages. If you miss the bridge, you know, it takes you an hour and a half to get there. Uh, the cost of living in, in New York is very high. And so if you're looking at Hollywood East, you really can't be, I mean, you know, there was a, a some uh, guy from Channel Five said uh, said uh, lights, camera, Plymouth. I mean, Plymouth makes sense because it's equidistant from an international airport in Boston. It's equidistant from uh, from Providence, uh, Rhode Island. It's not far from New York, uh, and also uh, cost of living is uh, is is easier to bear on on crews, etc. Our interest is not to create. Uh, migration into Plymouth, but actually be able to get these high-paying jobs into uh, the hands of the Commonwealth.